So we're four episodes in, and yes, I've been watching. So let's talk about the most recent episode of Chucky, the TV series. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick of the Lost River Driving, and I'm coming at you tonight to talk about Chucky, Episode 4, Just Let Go. Uh, I literally just finished the episode. I wanted to come in here and give you guys my initial thoughts, reactions, whatnot. Um, There will be spoilers for the episode in this, uh, so if you haven't seen it yet, I'll give you a warning before I get into spoiler territory. But overall, I really enjoyed the episode. First and foremost, I'm going to say that the effects with the doll, uh, and I know a lot of them are practical effects, they're awesome. All season so far, the the practical effects with the doll have been spot on. Um, Brad Dourif does great. He's got some funny lines, some funny moments in every single episode. The doll looks great. Love it. On top of that, We got an unlikely team-up, I guess you could say, in this episode. And I don't know how I feel about it yet. Because if you've been watching the show, Lexi's not a character that we like. And when Jake essentially was going to have Chucky kill Lexi, I don't think anybody was opposed to that. Because she was awful. Um, So they... uh, Okay, spoiler warning. So they team up in this episode, and they're almost like creating this friendship and they have a common goal of stopping Chucky and it's cool it's great it's mildly hard to believe at times um I feel like you you as the viewer know that they don't like each other and he has every reason to not like her and you know that she's just not a good person so now you're being asked to sympathize with her um and at times you can. I think she does a really good job acting, but I just think the team up's a little bit weird. But, you know, we have a few more episodes. We'll see how that's fleshed out. I don't want to, like, have any, you know, concrete stance on that yet. Um, again, I'm still having issues with the main actor who pl- I believe his name is Zachary Arthur, who plays Jake. At times he's so good, and at times he's bad. At times, I feel like he's overacting or overselling it. And there are times like this in this episode. But there are times like that in every episode up to this point. Um, Young actor, I'm not going to hold it against him. You know, he's learning. Uh, It's totally fine. Again, Chucky is great. I love how the episode ends um, upon finding the detective's body. And they, Lexi and Jake both look at Chucky. And Chucky's just like, I love that. I love that because... This episode was about Jake and Chucky's bond that they had kind of built falling apart. And Jake saying, no, Chucky, I'm not okay with you killing people. No, Chucky, I'm not like you. So Chucky's basically like, all right, well then screw you. I'm going to do my own thing. And you and all your friends are cannon fodder. And uh, I enjoy that because that is Chucky. That is Charles Lee Ray. So I'm enjoying that. You also get a little bit of backstory with Eddie Caputo. And uh, throughout this entire season, we've gotten flashbacks to Charles uh, Charles Lee Ray's life uh, as a kid and a teenager, and I enjoy that. Um, some of it is a little on the nose, but I think that in this episode, it was really well done to see the kind of, um, you could call it a maturation into what Eddie Caputo became. You got to see the seeds planted there, and I liked that. And you really get to see how Charles, as a kid and a teenager, could flip in an instant for for no good reason you know in his mind it's a good reason but you you know what i mean so i just think that it was a very strong episode there isn't an episode yet that i don't like um there there isn't an episode that i've had massive issues with there's there's acting things here and there there's um kill things like episode three with oliver's death i thought that that looked a little cheesy it wasn't the doll. It was the kill itself. Um, but these are minor gripes. I think overall, so far, this show is absolutely better than anything I got with Cult of Chucky. And I'm I'm 
definitely definitely looking forward to the next two episodes. I believe it's only a six episode run. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me. Wikipedia says it's a six episode run, which is a little short in my opinion. I thought it'd be eight to 10, but I could be wrong. Um, so, you know, uh, episode four of Chucky, Just Let Go, I thought was a really good episode. You don't get Chucky till more than halfway through this episode. You know, I'm sitting there and I'm going, this is a show called Chucky and I've yet to see Chucky. What What's the issue here? Um, but, uh, you know, he, he delivered when he showed up and I love the design in this, you know, this half melted, burned Chucky doll. Uh, really creepy, really creepy. Uh, the, the top notch special effects have been top notch throughout this series so far. I mean, the doll, the doll has looked great. And I was worried with the trailer about how Brad Dourif sounded because you could hear his age. You definitely could. Um, you don't really notice it. Um, you know, you really don't. He still sounds like Chucky. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are my overall thoughts. I really enjoyed episode four, Just Let Go. I'm liking where this is setting up, and we're four episodes in, and we don't have any of the convoluted Glenn, Glenda, Tiffany, uh, Fiona Duroff, none of that yet. If there are only two episodes left of this season, we're about to get bombarded with that stuff. So I am cautiously optimistic, but I'm scared. I'm scared for how they're going to handle that. But overall, so far, this show has been really good. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out right now. I believe the episodes are on YouTube for free, uh, Sci-Fi or USA's YouTube channel. And um, I watch it on Hulu Live TV. So if you have Hulu Live TV, you can watch it on there as well. Uh, but sound off in the comments and let me know what you guys thought of episode four of Chucky, Just Let Go. So those are my quick initial thoughts. I wanted to get something out to you guys tonight without doing a live stream today. Um, and that's going to do it for me. So this is Nick at the Lost River Drive-In, and I'm pulling out.